Hello everybody and welcome to 64 Lava. This is my YouTube channel where I am going to do loads of videos based on my city builds and I'm going to start with the stuff surrounding my square in the beautiful Isle of Mango which is like this really flat uh, kind of European but roller coaster tycoon 3-esque uh, city on an island. Uh, and there's lots of stuff going on and I'm going to try not to show you too much of it. So I'm just going to look to the ground until we get to where we are going today. If you're struggling to build stuff in Minecraft and maybe you've built a city and you're like, what do I build? This is crazy. I've got a whole city's worth of buildings to fill. This one is such an easy idea. You build lots of pools, you build showers, you make it look really aesthetic and friendly. A spa is a great thing to build so let me show you mine and hopefully this will inspire you for some of your own builds I can hear a door moving who's walking around I think there's villagers in the spa so um, hopefully it's not too noisy in there so when you walk through I've got a kind of uh, a glass floor that shows what is to come but we're clearly gonna walk this way I've got a nice little reception here. I always build receptions for my buildings. I, I do not know why. Through here, we've got some changing rooms. You know, make sure you get your dressing gown on. Sort yourself out. So I'm going to do that just now real quick. <laughs> oh my. I look fantastic. It hasn't really covered up my downstairs area, but... Um... <laughs> I, uh, I've got clothes on anyway, underneath. So, on the ground level of the spa, we do have a few things. This is to just kind of ease you in. And to be honest, when I made this floor, I was like, I'm just going to tick off all the things that I need to make the spa. And then I can have some fun. Cool showers. Oh, yeah. Uh, steam room. It's really... Got a sauna. See, obviously, I build in creative mode, but this is something you can do in survival mode. You know, we think of these luxury things like spas, saunas, stuff like that. It's not really essential for uh, survival mode, but if this was in your base, imagine how relaxing it would be. Maybe if you stored, like, some potions in there or just give yourself a reason to come in here and... Uh, enjoy the warmth. I think it's sound design really. I just love the sound that those campfires make. Through here I've got spore blossom aromatherapy chamber. So this is another very easy thing to build. Quite a chilling sensual place to hang out. <laughs> and this is um, I do like this as well. This kind of does the same thing. Of course would it be realistic without the toilets? So we have Yes, that's right. This is the classic design. Well, one of the classic designs, and it's my favorite design. We're not going to spend too much time in the toilets. I was about to record a five-minute thing in the toilet, but I just realized that if you really want to, like, copy this style, you can. You can just pause the video. I don't need to go through what the toilets are like. I, uh, toilets are good for detail, okay? And remember to wash your hands. Here we have the boiler. The closest you can get to fire without your eyes getting hot. And here in front of it, we have a special uh, constantly running shower uh, because it's so hot in there. Uh, it's too hot. It's too hot. There's straight up real fire in there. And the ventilation is fake. So I'm not, I'm not surprised it's uh, uh, the hottest room. So I'm going to cool off real quick after that. Now, all the best bits of the spa are downstairs, but we're just going to quickly go upstairs first. Every spa's got to have a swimming pool, right? And I thought, what would be better than making it on the roof? My favorite thing about having the pool on the roof is that you get views that you just don't get if you fly over the city. If you're just relaxing here in the water, look at this view. Just a little view into the town hall here so you can kind of see what everyone's doing, but... So the idea of the spa is that it's designed to be a little like a bath and I decided to make it look like it was literally from the city of Bath in England. These little towers 
are they're kind of replacing taps and the actors little water features but as you can see in each of the four corners i've got a little room so this is just the the staff room for the lifeguards um okay what <laughs> I'm gonna get out of there. <laughs> so we actually came up to the pool through this elevator that actually takes you already into the pool and then to leave. There's just a nice little elevator out, nice and smooth. So this is the view, this is the reason I made a video. Oh, I am in love with this, I'm so happy with this. <laughs> I'm not sure how many people will watch this video, but I wanna see some spa designs. And I'm sure people can go more epic and grander than this. There's also something about the simplicity. I thought it was too much sandstone at first. And I'm actually loving it. Anyway, that's the centerpiece. Uh, we do have a nice cold plunge pool here. That is probably too deep. Uh, and next to that, of course, we have our first... <sighs> Don't even want to say it. It's a hot tub, it's a hot tub. But I'm too relaxed to talk. These showers are so easy. I am not good at redstone. I have been playing on this game and building for years and years. But I've always been bad at redstone. But this is so easy. It's just a piston with a trap door behind it. And then I put my lever through here. And the only reason... The only reason... It's actually not as compact as it could be is because I wanted to cover it up and make it look completely flush But there is no reason you guys shouldn't be showering We've got a really nice bar going on back here and a lot of Door sounds and villager sounds that I can hear but that's because there's there's a lot going on I always need to pack rooms out with stuff I know that's uh, a problem that my some of my mates struggle with and that I struggle with too and hopefully some of the things I can help with on this channel are filling big empty carcasses with amazing interiors but next weekend rooftop pool aerobics we got free melon slices and then next month it's the baby villager spa day and the play zone and you can bring your family along and then of course we've got a reminder that rodney the ravager is banned from the kids spa day so um make what you will of that but rodney might have um been doing some ravaging even if you're in single player mode i would still recommend writing some signs and putting them up i just think it's another way of bringing your building to life just writing about it it makes you think about things and understand that it's a real working place when you're walking around definitely such a, a cheap idea as well if you are in survival mode definitely a way to spice it up now this is kind of my favorite part of the spa. This is basically, <laughs> it's so easy to build. So this was already a cave. And what I did was I dug it out a bit more by TNTing it a bit more through the middle. Uh, and then using vanilla commands like the fill commands i just replaced the block so i replaced all the stone with smooth sandstone and i replaced probably all the dirt with magma blocks and other stuff like maybe andesite etc i replaced with just normal sandstone and it probably took less than five minutes to make this crazy thing now i wouldn't use this all the time as my build style because it's very lazy but for this i thought it would just make a really nice little cove at the end a nice hot tub uh in a really scenic part of the spa and it is called the magma spa for a reason uh so the magma cove can be that backstory to why the spa is built above it We've got a mini gym, as all spas and posh hotels do. Now, I'll probably do a video on gyms in the future, uh, and it will be a lot better than this. But uh, I've got <laughs> pull up 9000 that, uh, of course, it doesn't work, but you can see the potential. Um, we've got some weight corners, uh, so we're just going to wait for a little bit and see what happens.
That was... That was a really bad joke. Of course, I had to get in my favourite gym equipment design in Minecraft, the running water machine. <laughs> this is the most anticlimactic thing. After building the running water machine and the weight corner and the pull-up 9000 that doesn't work, I thought the gym actually needed to be useful to be good, so I built Lisa's yoga studio. Just a nice little room. It's so plain in here. Look, I've got the ceiling the same color as the walls. There's no texturing, there's no detailing. But to me, this just feels right. I think you really do focus on the floor. And of course, Lisa is there chatting. This is the main pool in the middle. Now, the one upstairs based on the bath is loads bigger, but it doesn't matter. This pool downstairs is going to be warmer. It's uh, the place that you come and chill after you've been through your hot tub. What you, if you are building a spa, one cool thing to make sure to do is to have a bit of relief from your hot tubs. It's cool to have uh, the hottest hot tub ever, but also build a normal swimming pool. Cool your guests down. Whenever I went to a spa, I wanted to get hot and then I wanted to get cold. That's kind of how it works and you go on that loop until you leave. So uh, I, I kind of like to bear that in mind whilst doing my spa. But this is just a nice little seating area. There's candles in here. Uh, I feel like this is where an old person would go if they were at the spa. They'd just swim out of here nice and happy. And then they'd probably go uh, for a massage in that there's a lot of people in here and not many massages going on. But yeah, this is my massage chamber. You got a dry I did not dry off. I maybe that's why they all stood there. I will go and dry off. I'm sorry guys. Maybe have have a have a music disc. Um, have a sandstone a magma block as well. So I just kinda wanna show you the stuff that I built before I made the YouTube channel. So yeah. This is the Magma Spa. Thanks so much for watching. There's the spa right behind me. It's right next to my big square. So I feel like my next video has to be on one or two of these buildings in the square. Because there's more stuff going on in some of these. Definitely worth chatting about. Everyone's got to build a base and everybody's got to build a city with working stuff and offices and apartments, but I want to see some spas. I want to see some golf courses. I want to see some fun stuff and I have just destroyed some of my all of these have things to do inside and I want to show every single one of them off in my videos because I want to inspire you guys to do the same and I'm hoping that I can get some ideas off you guys as well and subscribe if you are new to this channel because well I am I've, 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 I've just started but yeah <laughs> subscribe if you can because I love to see some stuff.